Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Special Hobby, that's a Loy 130CL Colonial, so it's, as you can see it's a hydroplane which is molded in 148 scale, so it should be an interesting build in quite popular dimension. As you can see we have this nice box art on the front side and box is quite heavy but the size is not that big I would say for 148 scale kit especially if you consider that this is a hydroplane then on the side we have also some information about the manufacturer that is made in Czech Republic and from the other side we have some information for the safety and also address of the manufacturer that's a top opening box let's open it and here is what we have inside. So as you can see assembly manual of course and all the sprues packed into the same plastic bag. We will check them in a second. Of course we will start with them. Okay let's open it. Straight away you can see that the decal sheet features several marking options. We will check them a bit later. Note that we have quite a huge choice of various resin parts. That's an also interesting feature which we will check a bit later. Uh, transparent sprue is packed into the separate plastic bag. And then we have grey plastic sprues which we will check first as usual in our video reviews. So on the top we have the sprue with Fuselage halves. Here they are. As you can see both are molded together with tail segment and together with rudder. And they feature recessed panel lines as far as you can see, as well as raised surfaces. Here we have also the special uh, parts which will be attached on the wings. And overall molding quality seems to be fine, but as far as I can guess, inside we don't have any position elements, so you will have to be careful with these parts, especially if you remember their size. It should be a bit tricky to join them without any huge gaps. Next we have another grey plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to various external elements. For example here we have engine coilings. Also tail wings are molded here and as far as I can guess they will have to be assembled out of two halves. Note that we have those pins inside which will have to be deleted because otherwise it will be a bit difficult to combine them together. But otherwise I don't see any possible issues and Overall, molding quality seems to be fine as well. So let's move over to the next sprue, which is full of minor elements. So as far as I can guess, we won't have any cockpit detailing here. So as you can see here, we have again external detailing parts, no cockpit floor or any other similar elements. So it might be a good opportunity for professionals to detail their model and to add some interest inside. And last but not the least is this frame with huge wing parts. Here you can see comparison with my hand once again. Um, note that those parts are molded together with ailerons and flaps, so you won't be able to retract them on your model. Moreover, inside again we don't have any position elements, so it will be a bit tricky to combine those two parts together. But I think professionals will do it, and beginners will just have to spend a bit more time for this operation. Then we have separately packed transparent sprue. Here we have canopy and some other clear elements. Here you can see them. Let's zoom in so that you can see them closer. Molding quality seems to be fine. I don't see any masks included into this kit so you have to mask it with your own hands or maybe search for some aftermarket set which will help you doing this. Next, as you remember, we have also a small plastic bag with resin parts. Here they are. Just give me a second again to open them. And here maybe we will get some of the cockpit parts because it will be a bit strange to have an aircraft model in 148 scale without any interior. So here we have, for example, this is, a, I'm not sure if you can see it, let's try to focus the camera. Okay, we'll do it manually. Just give me a second. So here you can see first resin port. As far as I can guess, this is a machine gun, which looks quite simple to be fair, but still 
it should look better after careful painting. Then we have this pair of parts, I guess these are rudder pedals, which will have to be installed in the cockpit. Of course, we have two pilot seats. Note that both are molded together with seat belts, so we won't have to use any PE parts, we just have to paint those elements. And here you can see the rear side. Next, we have also separately molded radiator, which looks quite good in my opinion. And I think it would look even better after some washing is applied. Then here, manufacturer supplies several minor elements for internal detailing. Those look nice as well. Various devices, let's say radio stations and other stuff for the airplane. But I am a bit not impressed with this molding quality here because I would rather replace it with P thread for better looking uh, copy, let's say. But we have here only resin parts and here you can see, for example, dashboard with air intake and also with another external piece. Then we have another part of the dashboard and some thin part. We will check it later in assembly manual. This one is a cockpit wall, as far as you can guess. Then we have two absolutely identical frames with... These are air intakes as well, as far as you can guess, and these are engine exhausts. And the last but not the least is this resin base with cockpit, actually that's not a cockpit, but propeller hub and also propeller base. So be careful while working with this element as well. Next we have another surprise, it's a vacuum formed canopy. So this part might be tricky for beginners, but at least we get here two copies. So you have two chances to get a nice copy of the transparent section on this airplane. And note that this um, vacuum form part was packed um, just together with plastic spruce, so be sure not to lose it. Okay, let's refocus the camera. Then we have plastic bag with decal sheet. Let's open it. And as I said before, there are several marking options included. Here you can see this decal sheet. It is printed in cartograph as it's written here. Also, we have you know, almost all necessary symbols. Of course, some elements will be replicated with masks by professionals. But I think even if you use those decals, they will look good. And the only surprising thing here is that in 148 scale, we don't have any stencils included here. But it may be because uh, real airplane did not have that many stencils or there is not enough information. Okay, so now let's move on to assembly manual. So here it is. It's a large cover printed brochure with short history note on the first page. And let's open it and see what is inside. So of course we start with parts map. As you can see, two parts won't be used. Also here we have paint chart. Assembly process starts with cockpit. And note that those seats will be positioned in a tandem scheme, let's say, and cockpit should be pretty much detailed in my opinion, but of course nobody stops you from adding some more features to what we have out of the box. Now that here you have also info view so called, so that you understand where to place this or that resin part. Next we have also installation of the tail wings. And here you have the alignment view so that you understand how the tail wings should be aligned together with um, rudder. Then we continue with, uh, that's a radiator, engine gondolas. Note that here we have also engine exhausts, wing installation. Here we have transparent part that's a plastic part. And I just wonder where the vacuum formed part will be used, so let's continue. Here we have gondolas installation, engine installation process, and again we have alignment scheme so that you understand how to do it. And here you will have to choose whether to install this vacuum formed canopy or just to completely close it, close this section. As you can see it depends on the marking option, so be sure to choose the right 
board for your marking option. Here we have first camouflage option. So this aircraft was serving in 1938 and 1940. Next we have aircraft from China, French Indochina 1944. As you can see, it's uh, bit more bright because it is finished in green color as you can see so it might be an interesting option to replicate here we have third marking option from Libya 1941 and then the fourth one comes from um, Fort de France 1942 as you can see it has this nice finish on the tail section which should look interesting in the scale so that's all for this video review as you can see we have quite unusual 148 scale kit in my opinion, that's not the right choice for the beginners. I would rather advise to start it if you have some skills behind your back, because otherwise it might be a bit tricky. But the final result will be definitely quite interesting. And of course, marking options are also cool. So it will be up to you which one you will replicate in the 148 scale. So thank you for watching. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.